Good morning, Bennett Lacey, and I want to talk to you today about KN95 versus N95, among other things. See you in a minute. This is an N95. Why is it an N95? Because NIOSH says it is. Who's NIOSH? NIOSH is the governing body in the United States that gets to decide these things. What NIOSH is saying is this particular mask meets performance standards that comply to NIOSH 42CF84. And what that means is this mask, when worn properly, will filter 95% of particulate above 0.3 microns. So you're probably familiar with this mask. It's got two straps. Ken Goldie taught me how to do this. You basically put the straps on from behind your head, and there you go. You've got an N95. However, as you know, these have become very hard to come by. So we've had to source and get creative. This is a KN95. It's Chinese version of the N95. China does not have NIOSH. They have another governing body and their standard's not 42C FR84. It's GB2626. You don't need to remember any of that. But what they're trying to accomplish with their standard is they're trying to filter, you guessed it, 95% of particulate above 0.3 microns. They do it a different way. Totally cool. This uh, particular mask, you can see a little bit differently here, whereas mine was much larger. This is a very flat mask with kind of a joint here in the front. Also, these straps, they don't go behind the head, they go behind the ears. Like so. See that? It's got a little metal thing right here to kind of, you know, seal that gap there. <sighs> Fairly easy to breathe in and out of. The filtration in these two masks, the filter media is rated the same. It filters out, again, 95%. The key is how tight does it fit your face? So depending on your shape of face, you may find this fits your face just fine. Uh, for some faces, it may not. As far as OSHA is concerned, we'll post a, a little picture up here. OSHA, April of 2020, basically released a statement that said, we know N95s are really hard to come by. If you have to, you can use a KN95. Now, availability. As far as availability goes, we've got limited availability of the KN95s. N95s are still a ways out. I don't know when you're gonna watch this video, so call in uh, or email one of us, uh, and you'll be able to find out what exactly the lead times are on that day. Now, you may not need an N95 or a KN95. You may just need a face covering. So what I might show you here is a standard surgical mask. Again, this is not rated for any type of N95. There's no filtration value here. It's just simply to capture the droplets that are coming out of your mouth uh, should you sneeze and be infected. Also, we have here this standard cloth type mask. Uh, these are, again, no filtration value. This is only as a face covering. Certain cities are requiring them to go back to work. Very standard in the way they fit. Not particularly uh, sexy by any means, but hey, whatever we gotta do to stay safe. Hopefully this helps you make your decisions there. Again, KN95 may be an acceptable use uh, situation, depending on the fit. If you have to get fit tested for an N95, same process applies. Hopefully this helps. I'm Bennett, signing out.